The San Diego County Fair started a day later than last year, but it started with a bang. The traffic, the fried food, which did the most damage? Chris Beal joins us live from Del Mar. And Chris, uh, this is a familiar location for you, I hear. Absolutely. This is where I sort of got my start in the work world. Uh, not in the ride section, you know, all the 15-year-olds out there working uh, in the uh, food section. But uh, we got everything where we are. You've got the rides, people enjoying them because they still have an hour to go. Behind me over here, you've got some of the food scattered throughout. And then over here, this is where people are playing the games. There are some guys trying to win the games for their girlfriends. Obviously, uh, not very successful. These are very tough, but this is shaping up to be a very good opening weekend. The fun at the San Diego County Fair is too much to resist for the tens of thousands of people who go every day. Opening day Saturday got the fair started off right. Well, yesterday was huge. We had over 46,000, almost 47,000 people. It was a beautiful Saturday. Linda Zweig with the fair says they haven't had a Saturday opening in more than a decade. The day the 4th of July falls on makes it necessary sometimes. So Saturday was a weekend day and our attendance showed and it's going to be a big fair. We're going to hit at least 1.6 million this year. I feel it. For many San Diegans, the fair is tradition. Maybe the place where you got your first job. For me, it was Tasty Chips. And the same master fryer is still there 12 years later. Martin, do you Martin. remember Chris Beal? He Look, worked with us. I'm, oh, uh, yeah, maybe yeah, 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 no, no, no. yeah, maybe a thorn in your side <laughs> oh, for yeah, one whole summer, right? The owner, Lori, gets old employees like me stopping by. None with the camera, though. The whole thing about all the kids, like you see all these kids here. I've been through like 1,200 of them, and that's why I say like a lot. And she's been through even more potatoes, some of which I fried up today, just like old times. And push, push, push. Oh, yeah, I remember you have to make sure they stack. stack. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you. Mm. Another Tasty Chip success story. <laughs> So just as a reminder, if you're planning on coming out here on a Monday, in general, don't, because it is only open one Monday, and that is the Monday before 4th of July. And Susan, that is a, spe that is a very special reminder for you. <laughs> yes, because I have done that before. I've gone on a Monday, and a lot of disappointed children in my back seat. I love the tasty chip success story. Story, that's fantastic. Uh, Chris, let me um, let me also ask you. I know there are some days that are cheaper to go than others, but that also means bigger crowds. Do you have any tips on when to get the best deals out there? Well, absolutely. There are a lot of options, a lot of uh, savers out there, and that's available on the website uh, for the San Diego County Fair. Uh, we can direct you there because there are two days in particular where admission is only $4. So you can imagine if admission is only $4, there's going to be a lot of people want to get out there. You can head to fox5sandiego.com, click the Scene On tab. We'll link you to the fair's website. Okay, go win uh, something over there, and uh, we'll see you in just a little bit. We'll check back with you at 10:30. Thank you so much. Hopefully with a big stuffed animal. Thank you.